There's a new invasive species environmental experts are worried about, and there is a race to get rid of them. The yellow-legged hornet, it's a cousin of the so-called murder hornet, that was spotted in Georgia for the very first time. ABC's Steve Osinsami has more. Scientists say they're trying to sound the alarm on a pest that could do a great deal of damage, the yellow-legged hornet that was discovered earlier this month by a beekeeper in Georgia. It harkens from the tropical, subtropical climates of Southeast Asia, which unfortunately is a very similar climate to what we have in the southeastern United States. They believe that this one invasive insect, if left unchecked, could destroy honeybees, which help maintain this country's $15 billion produce industry. In 2004, it was found in France and shortly thereafter spread across Western Europe, where it started causing colony uh, declines. Their egg-shaped nest that they build on trees can hold nearly 6,000 insects. If you suspect that you have seen one of these paper mache nests hanging on a tree branch or under the eave of a garage, then we would hope that you would report that. It's a concern for state and local governments who will need to keep fighting spread of the insect through at least the fall. We're hopeful that this is very early in the introduction and through our monitoring and mitigation efforts, we will be able to get up in front of it. The hornets are related to the Asian giant hornet, sometimes called the murder hornet, which were first seen in the U.S. in 2019 and which scientists in Washington state started using drones to track last year. Authorities are hoping they can successfully slow down these bugs as well. If we can actually find the colonies and destroy them before they produce these queens, then we'll eliminate their uh, potential to start new colonies next spring. There's been no real sighting or spread of the murder hornet since 2021, and scientists are hoping they can repeat that success here. Steve Osentani, ABC News, Atlanta.